Hi, this is Charlie from the Atomic Smashers, and I'm going to uh, be reviewing the material that Grandmaster Horian has posted. Oh, it was a good 25 years, maybe 20, 20 years ago uh, of the of uh, of the Intermediate Gracie Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Volume Two, which is cool. It's on YouTube, and here he's goes over to close guard, and it's he's very similar to what Hickson does. So. And I can't review the uh, self-defense unit from Hickson because it's not allowed. So I'm um, going to review what Horian does. So here we're going to cover the scissor sweep. And a lot of their guard sweeps and submissions happen when the opponent tries to stand up. Why is that? Because when the opponent is in their closed guard and is not standing... They can't open their legs. Okay, and I'm going to show a video of Harger discussing that in another video, not today. But, so when they're pulling in with their legs and gripping, getting grips, the opponent can't open their legs. So, what everyone does is they try to stand up to break the legs. But the problem is, as you can see here, when the opponent tries to stand up, if you're pulling in with your legs and you're getting some sort of grips, pulling him forward, when he gets up, he's getting off, getting up, not balanced. He's not, he doesn't posture. Like you could see this, for example, the opponent's shoulder here is lower than his other shoulder. I discussed that in the first video. Look where his head is down. He's not looking up. It just doesn't have base. It's, it's not good. He has to. So he's getting up on one leg and then trying to posture up. But he can't get his posture, right? Because he's pulling in his legs and he's going to. And notice, Horian has the grip here. He's uh, the grip around the one arm. And why does he do that? Because it's very hard, difficult for the opponent to stop that grip. Actually, it's because it's on the outside of his arm. And he's starting to stand up, so he can't really... And if you notice, the other, he can't really stop that grip in the other hand. He's probably about ready to grip. And another thing that's interesting, if you notice, Corian's head is off the mat. Right? And, and look, again, his legs, I emphasize his legs. His legs are not down below the person's, the opponent's hips when he's in the closed guard. His knees are pinching up high. And his legs, when they close around the person, are high around the ribs, not by the hips. Okay, let's see if we can go a little bit further. Ah. Somehow, the opponent has actually gotten close. And pulling him in with his legs, he came, you notice he's even getting closer to Horian. Right? Now, oh, see, now what Horian's doing here is he's opening his legs because what he's going to, see, here's, that's what actually hoist his opponent. <laughs> so, as you could see, you could see here how off balance the opponent is because he's bringing him up with his legs. He him, and that grip there causes him to come forward. He's loading him sort of forward. And you can see here how he doesn't have posture. And now here, here's an important part of the scissor sweep, right? So he pivoted off the guy's leg. Oh, when he's getting a grip, now he, during this, when he pulled him forward, because he didn't have balance, he then slipped his hand into the collar grip. Again, I think this is important to understand that. He got the grip on Hoist's left arm on the outside. Hoist couldn't block that. And as he's pivoting, pivoting off Hoist's leg to get to his side, on his hip, Horian's hip, he also got the grip of the collar I think this is very important that that grip because he doesn't fight hoist when he's inside closed guard and he's postured up to get the collar grip everybody's going to block that and it's going to be a struggle he gets that collar grip when hoist is off balance trying to get up he's pulling him in then he slips in the collar grip that's one way to grip if you see where hoist's hand is over here his arm is here guarding his other collar if my opponent doesn't guard that collar I like to just grab that collar it's just so simple 
Okay, so you see the grip is very important. He's on his side. He pivoted off Hoist's leg. And what's very important is Horian's knee. It's going to point down, the knee over Hoist's leg. It's going to point down towards the mat. Okay, I want to go a little bit further. Ah, oh, that was too far. What in the Sam Hill? Oh, let's play. We'll his stop. hand always on the okay. ground. So as soon as we start, knee down, please, for a second. As soon as we start the match here, my hand opens the collar for this hand. Oh, okay, got it in if there. If he does not secure my arm with this hand, this goes into the neck, as we saw before, and go to the choke, and I can then bring him down and squeeze his neck. So the reason this arm is holding the bicep is to prevent my hand from going to the choke. Okay, so he slipped the hand in. So I have he that he wasn't trapped, fighting so I can't choke him. He now puts the leg up and is getting ready to pass the guard. As soon as he puts this leg up, I'd like you to uncross your legs, rest your weight on this leg here, on the calf of your leg on his thigh. Swing your hip away and from here, the leg lays flat on the ground. See, this is important. You see the that knee there that's going to cross Hoist's stomach is pointing down, right? Because ultimately when you do the scissor sweep, you're going to use your foot that's around his hip and curve his hip around the knee, around the ankle that's Hoist's that's on the ground. You don't kick the opponent up. You're not trying to lift them up. You're trying to take them over his far ankle. And then Horian's other leg will bite down along that leg that's posted on the mat as well. This is very important. And what he will also do, let's see if he does it this time, he will shoulder escape away Horian when he's got his grip before he tries to roll the hip over the ankle. He will shoulder escape away, which will, which will then cause Hoist to really be off balance. And not only that, when he does that, Hoist can never get his base back. If he just stays like this, it's possible Hoist could put his leg that's posted up on the mat back down. But if he shoulder escapes away so that he's as far, so that his upper body and lower body are almost parallel as he stays on the side. Now the problem is Hoist is too forward, can't get back, can't get his base back. It's kind of an important detail that most folks don't talk of. Let's see. The other, knee, the other knee goes across his body like this. And in a scissor-like move, sweep the man down. Yeah, you, see, you see how he opened his upper body away? That, 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 that's so that he doesn't, can't get his base back. If you, if you stay too, too, too much like an L or bunched up too much, the opponent can just put his weight back as you're doing a scissor sweep as possible. The leg that he's posted up on, he just put his weight back down there and just put his knee down. And he'll be in base. And find yourself in a mounted position. One more time, please. Just this way a little bit. Okay, so he holds my arm to prevent the choke. He puts the leg up. At this moment, I want to cross the legs, rest the weight here, and swivel the hip away. What's going to make this technique easy to be executed by you is that you don't try to drag your behind on the ground. There's too much friction. It's going to feel too heavy. The trick is to let your leg rest in here on his calf and also put the weight on your shoulder on the ground. By resting my weight on his leg and my shoulder on the ground, it allows my hip to swivel away. I'm not touching the ground. I'm off the ground for an inch. It's very easy to swing my leg. Uh, I have crossed the leg, slide my hip away, and I... See, that's very important. Yeah, you got to swivel, and you got to get on your hip. Because if you don't get on your hip, then your leg that goes across the stomach cannot point down to the ground. If you are not on your hip, you're too flat, your knee is going to point up, and then the scissor sweep will not work. Because now you're picking him up instead of rolling over this foot. What you're trying to do is you're trying to use this foot and kind of come around his hip and roll it over Hoist's 
ankle right here. That's his weak part. If you do that, so it's not a kick. It's a rolling around like a wave again, this wave concept, right? It's like your foot become a wave, and it's going to come around his hip and over his far ankle. When that happens, then he'll go. Then, 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 then it's kind of... Uh, I find myself here. The foot should fit right around his waist like this. And from this position, the legs will now scissor and flip him over. So that I can end up in a mounted position. One more time. Press the leg up, uncross the legs, rest your leg here. In a sense, the weight of this leg, as I lift my hip up, I kind of swing my hip away. That's the move. The leg falls in position, bring the other knee across. And control the leg. See right here, he's going should kick and try to get hoist to go over that his ankle right here. He's going to use his foot, not kick, but roll over hoist's hip as he opens his upper body. And I think he talks about it in this one. From here, one leg pulls and the other leg pushes in a scissor-like movement, sweep him across, and you find yourself mounted like that. You may find that when you get to this position and you slide your hip away, it could be of major help for you if you slide your shoulder back this much. Okay, there, here he is. We're going to talk about sho shoulder, sky shoulder, sh call shoulder escaping, sliding it back. When you do that, you'll, you'll load hoist onto you in such a way that he can't put his knee back down on the mat. Of course, the other leg will be across his stomach, but he can't get back. He can't get his base back. He can't put his knee back on the mat. It's kind of, he kind of gets stuck there, and that's really when you're going to get the sweep. In other words, rest the weight on your hip and raise your shoulder off the ground a little bit, because by moving out of the way, he's already leaning with the weight that way. So it'll give you a lot more control on his weight if from here, you simply raise your shoulder off the ground a little bit and move your head back. He's already... You see, you see what happened? Yeah, yeah. What he's talking about is when you load him and shoulder escape away, look what's happening. He's already turning. He's turning. Now, now Hoist is almost mirroring. That's another concept, mirroring. He's actually mirroring Horian now. See, before he was more shoulders were in line with each other. Now, no. One's lower than the other and one's forward, one's back. That's a very good spot to be in to get the sweep. Uh, it shows, Gabe, and you notice the grip, again, behind the arm, and this time... Tilt it that way. Yeah. Makes it, it a lot easier for your leg to sweep him over and yeah. end up in a mounted position. Okay, so um, I think I spent a lot of time in a scissor sweep. Uh, go try it. I, it's, it was Grand Man's his favorite technique. I have spent many years trying to perfect this scissor sweep. I think I'm getting better at it. I still have a long ways to go. Like I said, the main concept is a lot of this happens when he stand when he goes to stand on his first leg. If he goes up on his second leg, no, it's not the scissor sweep anymore. Can you get it when he doesn't uh, stand up? Yes, uh, maybe that's covered here. Let's see. One last time, please, Luis. Oh, it's so he's actually, in the guard yep. here, puts the leg up, I am cross the leg, slide my hip away, Okay. move the shoulder back, back, just enough to increase your chances to tilt his weight off balance even easier. From here, the legs will scissor See? and mount. That's the plan. When you, when you move your shoulders back, connect your elbows to your ribs, so the words connect your arms, so when you move back, you pull him even forward more. Okay, that's very important. So from this position, he's got my arm, I have the, leg, the hand on his neck, okay? I'm going to rest my weight on his calf, which is going to be substituted by my feet on the ground right now. Okay. The trick is to swivel your hip away. This is the move. Bringing the leg across, slide your shoulder back this way. So you notice important, his knee, it has to go down towards the mat, because you don't want to lift the opponent up. And notice the shoulder escaping again. Just raise your shoulder off the ground and cut one inch so that you can move back. And then the legs now scissor and you'll find yourself mounted on your opponent. 
Okay, so hopefully you got uh, some uh, good information on Scissor Sweep. Go try it. Let me know how you make out. Okay, take care. Bye.